So the first thing you want to do to change the motor casing is take off the wheel. If you undo the wheel nut. And then look after the washer. And take the wheel off there. And then the second thing you want to do is take off the drive belt cover. And then you want to use the screwdriver to help ease off the large pulley. Not too bad. And then pull that off there. And the belt will come off with it too. And to one side. And so on the motor you have a C clip over the end of the motor shaft. And you want to ease that off with it's easy to use the screwdriver there and put that to one side and then you've got the metal pulley and the easiest way to take that off again is with prying gently with a screwdriver um, equally from different sides it can be quite tight um, that should come off there like this and then you need to take a pair of pliers and pull off the metal bar which keeps it in place uh, and fits into the the tooth on the inner of the wheel. So if you pull that off with some pliers, put that to one side again. And then you need to take a pair of C-clip pliers and remove the first C-clip from the motor shaft. And then put that to one side again. And then further inside, almost touching the inner bearing is a second C-clip and you'll need a smaller pair of pliers to get into this one. This can be a bit tricky. And once you remove that one, you should feel the motor actually move away from the, uh, the motor mount, which will help you get it off there. And then there's nothing actually holding the motor on apart from the two bearings and the magnets. So you should be able to pull the motor casing off like that and that's the motor casing so you take the new motor casing and you want to slide it into the around the motor keep your fingers out of the way because the magnets will pull it onto the motor um, so just be careful and hold it quite tight when you're sliding it on and it should slot in there and push through there so you can see it's got some spring in it here and that's what the first c-clip does is that holds it in place so Take the C-clip and put it onto the C-clip pliers and then you want to slide that over the shaft like this and then it's quite tricky to keep the pliers on the C-clip so it's easiest to push the C-clip down with the pliers um, around the edge onto the shaft. All the time keeping some pressure on the motor so that it allows it to fit into the groove on the shaft and if you keep pushing it down you should feel it snap into place you can see it pushed down there c clips clipped into place and take some more c clip pliers and just squeeze that into place and make sure that it's tight and then check that the motor's spinning freely it shouldn't oscillate you should see that it runs smoothly and then you need to take the second c clip and put that onto the shaft this one holds the metal sprocket in place so just slip that over and again you need to just clamp that into place. Now squeeze that up tightly and then you need to take the metal bar that you removed previously and pop that into the slot on the shaft. This can be tricky to get in, you need to line it up quite closely and then sometimes it's easiest if you just squeeze it on with the pliers again. And then you need to take the metal, uh, the metal pulley and slot that over. And then you need to take a leather hammer or leather mallet and tap that into place. Keep your hand on the back of the motor there and then tap that into place like this. And that should sit tightly up against the first, the second C clip that you put on. And then the last clip needs to slot over the end of the shaft and that holds the metal pulley on. 
Again, it's easy to push that on with a screwdriver. And then again, check again that it runs smoothly, there's no clicking and that the motor doesn't oscillate, it should run smoothly. And then again, it's just a case of putting the parts on as before. Motor pulley, drive belt. Run that over with the motor there. Check it runs smoothly, check it's all in line. And then add the wheel. Washer, nut. And then finally the drive belt cover. And that's how to change a mud casing.